Sentry mode activated. Target acquired. Hey there Hunters, welcome back to the Gunners Guild. So before I do any like super meta in-depth videos on Bow in particular, I was kind of waiting for two things to happen. First is the Camellios update to drop because I'm sure meta is going to be shifting around a lot when that hits and I don't really want to do a video when I have to do it again two weeks later because I'm lazy. So there was that, but it was also because I was hoping Capcom would fix Bow. And by fix, I mean neuter it because it would be justified. As everyone should be aware by now, Bo is super broken. Like, more than Longsword broken. Longsword is just broken because it's overtuned. Bo is broken because it's literally bugged and broken. It's way too good because its mechanics don't work properly. It's broken in every sense of the word. And this is going to be a relatively short video to explain why and how, but I'm going to break it down into two parts really quick. The first is the elemental damage formula. Now, Bo's not a very complex weapon with its damage calculations, though I guess more so than normal weapons. Bow has a motion value attached to each of its shot patterns, so Rapid 1-5, through five, Spread 1-5, through five, Pierce 1-5. through five. Each of these motion values also come with a raw and elemental multiplier. But Bow also gets additional modifiers for the charge level of the shot. So for example, Rapid 5 has a motion value of 11 and an elemental modifier of 0.8. Rapid 5 also fires 4 arrows, so you get 4 arrows at 11 raw and 0.8 element. But if you're on max charge of 4, you get 4 arrows at 18 raw and 0.9 element. Now the bug for bow damage occurs during the charge. Right now the charge modifier is completely ignoring shot modifier. So instead of getting 0.9 elemental damage on rapid 5's charge 4, you're going to get 1.125. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but trust me it does ramp up. For example, standard rampage bow here with 235 raw is going to be hitting for 44 damage per arrow on the target dummy who we know has a raw hit zone of 100, great. Quick math shows that it's pretty accurate. So let's take the same bow, slap on 20 dragon, now the target dummy has an elemental hit zone of 30, so 0.3 times your element is the extra damage you're going to do. With 20 element you should be getting about 5.4 extra damage from dragon. Now due to rounding and shit this may end up being about 6, but anyway we should be hitting for about 49, maybe 50. Or we're hitting for 51. So if we cut this 0.8 modifier out of here, then we would be getting 6.7 dragon which ends up being 51. Weird. It's a little tiny, but trust me it builds up. Same bow slapping on 5 dragon decos for 28 dragon. With the correct formula, we should be getting 7.5 dragon, but we're getting 9.45 instead. Still, small increase, but again, it keeps ramping. Though before I get into scaling this, I do just want to point out that Dragon Pierce has a 0.3 times elemental modifier. And if that were true, 28 dragon should only be adding 3 damage per tick. But instead, it's adding 9. Which is weird because, you know, you multiply that by 3 and you're gonna get 9. So yeah, it checks out. 100% sure the elemental modifier is getting ignored completely. For stronger bows like Toby Kodachi's with 41 thunder, we should be getting 11 extra damage as thunder damage, but due to the bug we get 14 instead. Now the real kicker here though is when elemental exploit is taken in. So the ice bow here I'm using has 231 raw, 64 ice, and elemental exploit. The raw damage we get from the arrows is 39 per arrow, and if the elemental damage formula were working, we should get an extra 19 ice damage per arrow. So we should be hitting for about 58 per arrow, but instead we're hitting for 67. Now if we remove this 0.7 elemental modifier from the equation, then it fits exactly in, it's perfect. 9 more damage per arrow isn't insignificant either, especially when we throw 10 arrows every second and a half. Trust me, this damage ramps up really quick. But right now, basically, Bow is getting 20 to 30% more elemental damage for free than it should. And that's not even the broken part about Bow. Now, people have said that just because the values are there in the tables and the data mine doesn't mean they're actually getting pulled from when you do the calculations. But that seems really fucking stupid to me. Why would everything here have an elemental value and then not be used? No other weapons got that. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just bugged. So the other thing about bow though, is what makes it super overpowered, which is the slide. Normally when you shoot your arrows, you do your rapid, then power, then a regular if you want, or you slide, rapid power, you get the drill, standard bow dash dancing. However in Rise, slide has always felt a bit fast. And it is because if you input properly, you can cancel your entire rapid after your slide and go right into power in a regular shot while still firing the arrows from the rapid. So effectively, you can one frame an attack if your input is good enough and get two attacks for the same animation as one. 
that's pretty fucking broken. Now Dash Dancing is super strong right now, and there's just no way this is intentional. No Monster Hunter game has ever let you cancel a whole attack animation. And lag, sure, there's some shortcuts there, but seriously, if you timed it right, you could do one frame of your rapid animation and then go right into power while still getting the eight arrows out for rapid and power within like 10 frames. Now last time we had an animation cancel like this was in World with the SAED cancel and charge blade, which was relatively quickly removed by Capcom. And the ledge light bowgun stuff was removed going into Iceborne and Rise. Capcom does not like animation cancels, and we all know it, so there's no way this is going to stay in the game. Because of this though, Bow is obscenely broken right now, and I really hope it gets fixed and nerfed. Look, I like Bow, but this is too much, so in the meantime I'm going to kind of avoid Bow and move over to Gun Lance and stick to my bow guns. I do expect the Camellios patch to fix this though, but for the time being I'm just going to pretend Bow doesn't exist. But anyway, that's all for me, thank you all for watching, and good luck out there hunters, and whatever you may be hunting.